one job that I want is a historian. I'm going to start. <laughs> you got to learn how to navigate those like slide things at the library though. Oh yeah, that's cool. Or those okay. really big yeah. books that are all dusty. You'll have to wear a mask to take your allergy pill. Well, all right. All right. Well, I'm already halfway there. I wear a mask like pretty much all the time. I have to take an allergy pill all the time too. It's the navigating of those slides that I've got to get down. That can be tricky and I'm clumsy. So, <laughs> um, so the next keeper was William Wood and he earned a reputation for being clumsy. He even had, <laughs> is this your grandfather? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> He even had to pay, oh wait, he even had his pay withheld for a year because he broke most of the light's mirrors. Oh my God. And allowed a cat to fall into the lantern oil barrel. No. The lantern oil was contaminated and had to be replaced. No word on the cat. (laughs) (laughs) That cat was probably the one actually breaking all the lights. Mm. And he's just, hmm. Gave it a little kick one day when it was by the oil. Mm, he took care of the problem. Yeah. Actually, I, I read that and I was like, was he really clumsy or was he breaking mirrors because there was something else going on there? Yeah. And maybe that cat didn't fall into that barrel. Maybe somebody else gave it a little nudge like, <laughs> I'll take care of this nosy little cat who keeps seeing me all the time. When you're a historian, just write stuff in there like that. <laughs> None. Yes. I'm going to have the best history classes <laughs> at the library history if anyone wants to listen. So entertaining. <laughs> From 1853 to 1869, the keepers at Point Lookout were a family affair, which was good considering they could all take turns sounding the manual fog alarm when needed. Richard Edwards was appointed keeper in April of 1853, but unfortunately he died in July of the same year. Richard Edwards' daughter, Martha, assumed the responsibilities after his death, but then in 1855, his other daughter, Pamelia Edwards, assumed the duties from her sister, Martha, and that was most likely because Martha was getting hitched, so she couldn't take, you know, care of the lighthouse anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) During this time, uh, rumors about Pamelia keeping prisoners during the Civil War started up. And even in the records for January 6th, 1862, there's a mention of a disloyal, oh wait, there's mention of the disloyalty of a lighthouse keeper. Pamelia was kept on as a keeper beyond the Civil War. So it's like, <laughs> she it's got like away Pamela. With it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> 